incredible milestone in the medical manufacturing sector with the entry of Questa Care Pharmaceutical Company into Kenya. Valued at over 1.5 billion Kenya shillings, Questa Care has affirmed that our country is an investment destination of choice in Africa. We thank you for the confidence in our country. During the COVID-19 pandemic, countries like Kenya that heavily rely on importation of pharmaceuticals and other goods face grave challenges due to disruption of supply chains. With local manufacturing, we are closing such gaps and advancing towards affordable health care. Furthermore, this is a major boost to the realization of the universal health care as per the Kenya Kwanzaa Plan. This step of Questa Care Limited investing in Kenya happens at a time the pharmaceutical industry is facing stiff competition from counterfeit drugs. A joint research by the Kenya Medical Association, Kenya Association of Pharmaceutical Industry, and the Pharmaceutical Society of Kenya established that up to 30% of medicines and drugs in the country are counterfeit. It is a syndicate estimated at a close to 15 billion Kenya shillings. On a global scale, Africa accounts for up to 42% of fake drugs. The United Nations warns that over 500,000 deaths in Africa are linked to substandard products. Such drugs offer false hope of recovery to patients. In some cases, it may worsen the situation given that the veracity and efficacy of the components are unverified. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, counterfeits, fake and falsified drugs are a threat to our people. They are a threat to life. They are threats to livelihoods. Medical drugs are not meant to kill. Drugs are to improve the quality of life. That is why we are encouraging local production to improve availability and affordability of quality supplies. This is one of the ways of edging out bad people dealing with counterfeits. Well, this is a long-term strategy. It is not enough. Our administration is implementing the universal health coverage. We are promoting preventive health care to the grassroots at the bottom of the pyramid. Our aim is to reduce the cost of treatment by half and ultimately set our people free from disease as was defined since upon our independence in 1963. The Pharmacy and Poisons Board must intensify the crackdown on manufacturing and trafficking of counterfeit pharmaceuticals across the country. We have allocated resources to facilitate the regulatory body in delivering on this assignment. Our security agencies are at your disposal. A multi-agency approach is key in complementing your efforts in physical and online surveillance. Drugs must not kill our people alongside diseases. Already, the disease burden is consuming a lot of our resources impairing development. Further, the surveillance is not an event. It should not happen today because we have raised concerns. It must be a continuous exercise. Not only for the Pharmacy and Poisons Board, it is the responsibility of everybody. That is why we also need to raise public awareness on how to check the genuineness of drugs via smartphones. While crackdowns are crucial in having dealers of such fake drugs, we ask the security and other involved agencies to put the health of the country first by ensuring that those arrested are severely punished. Officers aiding the syndicate are not part of us. They belong to jail. We will continue improving the investment environment as part of our strategy of building a resilient economy. We are promoting local production for better, for better health outcomes. In local production, will spread less and less foreign currency as we do in importation. While we are doing so, Questa Care Limited and other local manufacturers can only be ahead in the game by investing in robust research and development programs. Your products are good as your investment in research. This is how we'll produce cutting edge products to compete, diminish the demand for imports and keep up with the technology. It is now my duty and pleasure to officially inaugurate Questa Care Pharmaceutical Limited.